So hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, Engineers YouTuber. In this video, we are going to learn about how to install MySQL Server to your local Windows machine. So without wasting the time, let's get started. Okay, so go to the search bar and click for mysql.com. Hit the enter button. So now you need to click on the downloads in the menu bar. After that, scroll down to the last option and select this MySQL Community GPL Downloads. Okay, so click on this button. Now another page will come to open. Now select the last one, MySQL Installer for Windows. Again, page is loading. Okay, so now don't do anything about this. Select the default and the best version, the latest one, which has been selected by the website itself. Now click on this first option, Windows x86 32-bit MSI Installer. Uh, one question might be uh, wondering in your mind that it is based upon the 32-bit install, but that is not the case. If your system is 32-bit, that is not the case. If your system is even 64-bit, that is also not the case. The installer will work fine for both 34-bit and 64-bit. So no need to worry about this. Simply click on this download button. Now another page will come. So without doing this login and sign up, just click on this. No thanks. Just start my download. This. So no need to click somewhere else. Just click on this. No thanks. Just start my download. Your file will start downloading. So our file has been downloaded now. Click on the open file. Allow special permissions to allow, allow files. Now click on yes. Okay, so now our installer has been uh, started. So now uh, no need to click anywhere else. Select the custom options. Click next. Then again next. Then now you need to have to click over certain things. Click first click on the MySQL server because we want to install it. Again, expand it. Select the latest version. The time I am uh, basically making this video is at that time where the MySQL version is 8.0.37. Click on this green button so that it is selected. Now again, go to application options. Select on MySQL workbench. Again, expand it and again select the latest version. Now click on this arrow. Okay. So again, click on applications version. Again, select the MySQL shell. We only need to have MySQL Server, MySQL Workbench and MySQL Shell. Again, click on this button. Okay, so our required file that are required for our basic projects has been selected. Now click on next. No need to select other than these files. Now again, click on next. Then again, next. Yes. And start executing the files. Okay, so just uh, one thing uh, which I want to let you know is that the downloading depends upon the internet speed that over which uh, your computer is running, right? So if your speed is good, it won't take time anymore to download these files. So you need to wait for some time in order to download them. Okay, so two of my files has been downloaded and this right button has been shown over them. Now this last one is left and even within some seconds, there's also been, okay. So it had been also downloaded. Now click on the next button and execute. Okay, so now installing is, Start it. Okay, so now my all of the three files which I have selected before has been completely installed. Now click on this next button because every of these file has shown the successful. Now click on this next button. Again, click on next. Okay, so now this is a very complicated part of this installation. No need to worry about this. Whatever has been selected and whatever has been written it is written by the system default so no need to change anything and no need to click anywhere else than this because if you would click on this you might think of that why it is what it is so no need to click on this simply click on this next button and again click on the first it has been set up a strong password for authentication which is being recommended now why this password is required here okay so no password has been required here it is uh, the basic screen that wants the user to implement a password because when you start your MySQL server, it requires the authentication password. So we will now set up our password. For example, I am setting up with 987654. Okay. 987654. Again, the password strength it is showing weak. So don't worry about this. I can choose the password whichever I want. Now again, click on next and again next and again execute. Okay, so every of my configuration has been applied. Now click on this finish button and again, click next and again, click on finish. 
on successful installation this command window will appear over your screen so no need to worry and this now our software has been installed completely and you are I, I I definitely think that you might be having a very common doubt about this interface. So you need to worry, click on this button. And again, it requires the password. As I've told you, it will require a password. So whatever, what the password for is, I have set 987654. Click on OK. And again, OK. So our basic database, the basic system has been installed. Our DBMS first software has been installed. These are some basic sort of query which I have written before. So no need to worry, we will learn how to write query, how to read query, how to insert data, everything else in our this course. So don't need to worry. Let, let me very uh, be very frank with you. Like this is the create query, this is use, this is create. No need to worry about all this. I have installed the basic software which we required to work over which. And these are some basic Microsoft uh, basic toolbar kind of thing. You open. So we will understand all this in our upcoming videos. So I hope you now you have understood how to install the software, how to download and how to install it completely without any fear, without any worry. So if you like this video, hit the uh, like button and if you have any query, hit, hit that comment button so that I can be very sure that what are your doubts and if you are liking our channel, our content, hit the subscribe button so that you can help us to grow more. Thank you. Have a nice day.